And our over the wall reporter is Mark Hollywood Armstrong. He is the front tire changer on the number 66 of Stephen Wallace in Hollywood. Uh, first off, happy anniversary. Uh, that was just yesterday. But let's talk about the fact that we're going to be going from daytime to nighttime. What are the challenges for you guys on pit road? Well, Marty, there's many challenges down here that each crew faces. With the track temperature going to make about a 40 degree swing between the start of this race and the end of it, the teams is going to have to make a lot of adjustments. And the team that can minimize those mistakes the most on pit road and have very good stops could go to victory lane. This team here, the 66 team, well, we're running a special paint scheme for the troops. And what better way for us to honor them than to go to victory lane tonight? And this team right here is ready to do that, guys. All right, you guys be safe out there and good luck tonight. Let's uh, go back and show you what happened on the 66 as we go over the wall with Mark Hollywood Armstrong. Just that fast. Right behind him, Stephen Wallace. Now, Scott's moved up 23 positions since the start, and Stephen Wallace has moved up 17, and there they are, 7th and 8th, and Ricky Stenhouse, the other Rookie of the Year contender, right behind him. we got some great hey, battles Well, here. we talked earlier as uh, we came on today about these young guys needing to make a statement, get noticed here for different reasons, and uh, they're doing it. Battle for fifth between Trevor Bain and Stephen Wallace. Wallace has picked up 19 spots since the start of this race. Got that low line working right now. Here comes Martin Truex and Paul Menard and Ricky Stenhouse to get into this mix as well. Yeah, you can see just what a run you can get from that high side where you have that more banking up on the top. He's not going to give up. He's back to the bottom on turns one and two. Right in front of him, that is Stephen Wallace. Wallace had gotten all the way up. And he finds himself now in the sixth position. Came a couple of spots on pit road, so he's making some more spots up on the track. There. A little bit further back, Stephen Wallace is under attack now from Paul Menard and Jason Leffler. Menard goes low. And he clears him. Yeah, Paul's able to make that bottom side work, and especially on fresher tires, you can get down there and run a few laps. So from sixth, all of a sudden, now he's passed again. So Stephen Wallace has been bumped back to the ninth position, courtesy of Menard and Jason Leffler. Let's check in on this battle for ninth because it's uh, getting good between the teammates. We got 66, Stephen Wallace, and he's looking back at Brendan Gaughan. Yeah, Rusty's glad to see him both uh, up there running inside the top ten. He's wanting to be really careful right now. See Brendan make that pass on the inside. Yeah, Brendan's the guy that usually likes the outside. Takes that spot on the bottom, though. Let's get an update on Brendan Gaughan, Doc. Actually, I'm going to comment on Stephen Wallace first, guys. Uh, Stephen obviously started 25th, but all the way to 6th, and the car got very, very tight. They made an adjustment a moment ago, and now he's using a lot of racetrack. Stephen actually saying he's been running in the high groove, and it's really chattering the tires up high. They're working high, working low. The good thing about this racetrack, DJ, is that you know you can change the groove and change the handling of the car exactly what Steven is trying to do right now. Yeah. Steven Wallace right in front of her. 